This video is going to be pretty short and sweet just like the flight it's depicting. I flew 80991 down to a private ranch near San Antonio, Texas to have the owners of a paint shop down there look at the airplane and give us a better idea of what it's going to cost to get the airplane repainted. The trip was only about 30 miles so I was there and back in no time. This video is going to start off with my departure out of the private airstrip. This was definitely a different experience than using a public airport because this particular ranch does not have a unicom or a published frequency, so you actually have to call ahead on the phone to receive permission to land. Though there shouldn't be any other traffic coming into the airstrip, you still need to be very vigilant for other traffic in the area. Never stop looking for other airplanes. Some of you may have already known that this video is coming from one of the pictures I posted on Facebook, but I'm going to go ahead and take this moment to shamelessly plug all of my social medias. If you haven't already, you can like me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Mr. Aviation 101. You can also follow me on Instagram at Captain Mr. Aviation 101. I post some pretty cool pictures on there that you usually don't see on my Facebook or uh, Google Plus or YouTube or anything like that. So you can follow me on Instagram at Captain Mr. Aviation 101. I'm also on Twitter at Mr. Aviation 101. Now, I actually don't post on Twitter all that much. I just don't use Twitter in general that much at all. Um, but those of you that are on the Twitter universe, let me know how much you use it, and uh, I could adjust and post more content on there if you'd like. So follow me at Mr. Aviation 101 on Twitter. Anyways, sit back, relax, and enjoy this short hop out of this tiny private airstrip in South Central Texas. All right, we'll check the control surfaces. That one goes up, that one goes down, that one goes up, that one goes down. Elevators up, down, rudder, left, and right. And we have a full range of movement. Flight instruments checked. And gyro is set. Everything else is looking neutral. Attitude indicator looks good. Alright, we'll go mixture rich. Carburetor heat is cold. Holding on to the brake. Up to 1700 RPM. Check left magneto. That's clean. Back to both. Yeah, a little bit of sputtering. Back to both on the right. Let's lean it. Don't want to fly with a foul mag. Alright, let's go back to Rich. Check the right magneto. Better. And we'll check the carb ready heat. Carb heat is clean. Back in. Green, green, plenty of fuel suction is good. Ammeter is responsive and we'll leave the landing light on. Throttle back to a thousand. There is no Unicom here. It's a private airport or private airstrip. So I'm just going to hold on to the brakes. We have 10 degrees of flaps. Strobe lights on, landing light on, beacon on, transponder is on altitude. Roll it to full power, holding on to the brakes. Full power, release brakes. A little bit of right rudder there. And we climb out. Cleared those trees. Real traffic down like two two five six here. Turn final for one side Castro. And we're off. Once we get five hundred feet, we'll pull the flaps up. There's 500 feet, flaps coming up. Take our left turn out. Hey, Brothels Tower, Skyhawk 80991. Uh, back with you about 90 or south, 2500. We're going to transition from south to north going to San Marcos. Uh, 991 transition above, uh, at or above 2,500 approved, the Bronco's altimeter 2991. 991, we'll stay right here at 2,500 for you, 991. San Marcos Tower, Skyhawk 80991, 170, system 172 at 2,510 to your southwest inbound full stop. Skyhawk 
Okay, 0991 from Argus Tower, enter right down, wind runway 17. Right down, wind 17991. 3 Delta Victor, wind 17, Colonel M. Go right down, wind. Go ahead, 8 Delta Victor. Delta Victor, he's down there on the taxiway. I'm getting a traffic alert for him. The tower 80991, we're on the right downwind for 17. System 991, runway 17, clear to land, wind 160 at 13, gust 16. Clear to land, runway 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. 10 degrees of flaps, power back to 1,500, carburetor heat out, gas, undercarriage, mixture full rich, power yeah, and seat belts. And San Marcus Tower, many 1170 uniforms, uh, just inside of Pookie and found on the r 1170. Many 1170 uniform tower, only 17 clear to land. One step clear to land, step clear to uniform. Downwind a little too much. up when we get taxi a little faster. That's the 991 turn right on runway 26. We'll make the right on 26, 991. I only logged about 1.2 hours of flight time, but it was definitely a cool way to spend the afternoon after a long day of classes. I certainly enjoy sharing my love and passion for aviation by taking friends flying every now and then, but I also enjoy going solo for old time's sake. There's just something poetic about it being just me and the airplane up there. If you like these videos, you can click subscribe to be notified whenever a new video is released every Monday. I'm also hosting a Patreon campaign, which greatly helps cover the cost of cameras and editing supplies to put together these weekly videos, so if you'd like to help out and support them, you can click on the Patreon logo or on the Patreon link in the description, and even donating one or two dollars per video makes a big difference. So until next time guys, I wish you clear skies and tailwinds. Fly safe, thank you for watching.